In today's video, we're gonna be testing out a laundry detergent I got from the dollar store and seeing if it's actually good or not. Here it is. Surprisingly, they paid enough to give them in packs for us, um, but they are called the Fresh and Clean Laundry Pods. Genius name, I personally think. And it looks like they're just wrapped in some really cheap dissolvable plastic, but it's just powder inside. So, you know, I really don't know what to expect with this. Let's just get it in the washer. Did I just make that? The way we're gonna be testing how well this detergent works is with three of the worst stains you can possibly get on your clothes, which are right behind me right here. We got barbecue sauce, jelly, and God forbid, cranberry juice. I swear to God, just throw away your clothes at that point. We're gonna start off in this corner right here with a cap full of cranberry juice. Oh, that was painful to do. And these were from a sample pack that I got from Ross. And I'm gonna be honest, they are really, really good actually. So it's kind of a shame to see me putting it into this, but this one is definitely out of all of them the worst, so I don't really care. Oh yeah, that is a lot. <laughs> I have a feeling that we can just do one fell swoop all the way down. Oh, yep. Welp, let's let this sit for a few hours. I've left these out to sit and dry for about three and a half hours, and I can now say that my entire garage smells like barbecue sauce. We're gonna follow the instructions on the back of the packaging for this. It says one laundry pod for regular or lightly soiled loads and two for large or heavily soiled loads. I can tell just by holding these that if my hands were even a bit wet, I'd have powder all over my hands right now. Now we're gonna put this in test mode and fill it with just pure cold water. All right, here we go. This is just pure tap cold water entering the machine right now. And we're gonna wait until you see these two GoPro mounts. We're gonna wait until the water level reaches just the bottom part of the higher GoPro mount right there. All right, we've just about reached that level, which means now we're gonna do the, fo the foaming test, which is essentially just wave force, but it drains too. Now I might have to stop this because it will shake. It looks like this detergent doesn't foam up very much. All right. This is the actual ag agitation part of it. Now, I'm not letting this run through a whole cycle, uh, just because I don't think it's necessary for just one piece of cloth. So we're just gonna let the agitation cycle run. It usually takes about five minutes or so. Then it'll go into high speed spin. Then it should shut itself off after that. So, uh, yeah. We're gonna, ju I'm just gonna let it run and once it stops, uh, or if it keeps spinning for a bit at high speed, then I will just turn it off and then we can check out what happened. Uh, a rinse isn't necessary for this either, I don't think. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go in and make myself a sandwich. Uh, I'll be back. chips and salsa. Oh, I should have done salsa too. That would have been a good test. Well, it's too late now. We've standardized it.
All right, here we go. How long was that? Like, that was like three minutes, whatever. I don't want this to go into high speed spin for uh, three minutes, so obviously I'm gonna stop it. Uh, once it reaches full speed, just so I can, you know. I also take back what I said about it being a low sudsing detergent, because that is, well, there's a few of them in there for sure. Is it at least four? Oh, no, it wasn't. There was just still water in there for some reason. I hope there's no issues with the water. Level pressure switch. If this cheap little detergent suds locked my machine, I'll just run it through a quick like rinse and spin. I have the power to deactivate this, so. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. It's called the power button. Oh no, we're fine. We're fine. I could send this into emergency spin down if I want to. I'm gonna do it. Listen to this right here. How cool is that? Cause there are still chunks of the detergent stuck to this, uh, this uh, rag thing. So now I have to send it through again real quick. Now the camera is not picking this up for some reason, but this is the exact order that they were in. Uh, this up here was the, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, I got it. This up here was the jelly. The jelly is all gone, so that's good. Uh, over here, the, the camera, this is the part the camera isn't picking up. The, uh, the cranberry juice, which was already light to begin with, so the camera wasn't picking it up well then. It is still very much visible here. Uh, like, if I was standing at the back of the garage with my back against the garage door, which is a good 15 feet away, then I would totally be able to pick this out between a completely clean one. And the camera is picking this up down here. The barbecue sauce, there are still remnants, but for the most part, for barbecue sauce, I'm, I'm calling that a win. So I'll be honest, this thing right here, this has surprised me. This is actually a not bad detergent. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for our $3 laundry detergent, which is coming up next.